Hi one, hope you are doing well from whatever you're watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, we know very well that the impeachment motion against Gadda Gashagwa has been tabled in the floor of the house. And after the notice, the discussion will be going on and the whole process. But beside this, Gadda Gashagwa was on a live TV interview and he was asked a question by a journalist about his experience as the deputy president, having been served, uh, having served as a member of parliament just for one term. Now a deputy president. Gashaga's response is shocking and it raises so many questions. In his response, it is clear that he has done intensive parliamentary training such that if there is any war, he is ready to take an AK-47 and go in the war. He is ready for the duty. That it can surprise you to see him, you know, uh, spraying live bullets and killing people. That is his experience. And therefore, it is enough for him to serve in that capacity as the deputy president. He is experienced. Okay, that for the term and for you, you, you were appointed well, uh, when you served uh, the first term. Remember your, secu your, your security. I understand it because I served in the security center. Me, me, ni mutu ambaye ni mefanya very intensive paramilitary training. Me, me, kukitokea vita sahini kuchukua budugi na kweta kasi. Na utatipigana hapa, utaona video mimi itafiega watu. Me, me, niko experienced. Yeah, I have been in the government for, for, for those years. So, while I want to at Labda, he uh, experience ya ujube ya miakatano. He, because he deputy president, is not legislation. It is governance. Now, we are continuing this final discussion, but just a quick request for those who are watching and you are not a subscriber, please consider subscribing to our return subscribers and master. Thank you so much. And again, to all our viewers, please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much, and back to this discussion. Now, according to Gada Gashagwa, the work of the deputy president is not legislation, it is governance. To that extent, I want to agree with Gashagwa. Indeed, it is about governance. But you know, governance will depend on eh, um, what has been legislated. Because the work of legislation is to make laws. That is one of the duty. The oversight also comes in. So it also depends on how you are linking the legislation and the governance. But then I ask myself a question. When the Shepherd says that Vita Ikitokea Sahizi, Kaziaka Kuchukua Bunduki na Kwenda Kazi, he goes on to say that Tuta Pigana. Hapa, utawana vile ntafieka watu. I don't know how that is governance. Is kufieka watu governance? That is a threat to me. This is a deputy president who is issuing a threat. And I think this is one of the reasons the Kimani Shungwas and others are using it uh, to talk about a dangerous man they are dealing with in request for members of parliament to be given more security, <laughs> total security to be doubled. In fact, Kimani Shungwa is also asking for the same wetangular security to be doubled. That they are dealing with a man who the only thing he knows is about using a firearm. This also reminds me about any time we had protests in this country, Ruto used to fly out. And the man who used to be in charge of the country is none other than the Ganda Dashagwa. Remember, at 5 a.m. in the morning, Dashagwa at his office, sorry for that, then you will see police being deployed all over 
The next thing will be tear gas, water cannon, beating, injuries, killing. All this happened when Gashaba was in charge. So you can imagine, that is what he's discussing here comfortably. Taking a bullet na kuenda vita na kufieka watu. Indeed, Gashaba has been doing so. During the protest, you can see it. He did it. We felt threatened as Kenyans. It was as if we don't have a constitution that need to be respected. This is the same man here discussing about Kufieka Watu. Did he answer the question? Now you can see the experience of the man who is in the office of the deputy president and if anything happens to the president, this man will be your president. In fact, he is just a president in waiting. Just in case. Just in case. A president in waiting. Who actually comes out to explain his experience in paramilitary. Do you need to have a paramilitary training for you to be a president or to be the best president or, you know, yeah, for governance. Moi did not have any training in the paramilitary. Kibaki did not. William Ruto has no such experience. Uhuru ha has no such experience. But Gashako has. And he has been tested and proven to be one of the worst. This happened when Ruto used to live and Gashaga was deploying police officers. Kitsura Kendiki was not in charge. Despite the fact that he is the interior CS, he wasn't the one giving orders to the police officers. It was Gashagwa issuing directives. And we know what used to happen. People were removed from their houses. I remember the story of Nyalenda slums. You go and pick people from their own houses, beat them, some shoot to kill. I remember how we lost university students. Just killed by a police officer. So for me, when it reached this level, I don't see any need for sympathy for such a man. He's dangerous. He has proved to be dangerous. In Jambat Najua, you can present a bar has a parameter training, Nikama Uganda, Yurika Gutam 7. I don't know if you are aware on how people are treated if they attempt to exercise what is protected in their constitution, protest. <laughs> okay, in Uganda, see a police officer on the street, the military officers. Another one is Kagame. It's a G. Rwanda Kukuaje when it comes to Mamba Yang. Democracy. But that is it. So do we need another one here in Kenya? That is the question. Regarding the Gashagwa. Do some have proved to be good? Kienda Bukina Faso Mamba Dr. Faut. But this one of ours is threatening to kill people. He has been tested. At Hasemi atapigana na majangili. Anasema atapigana na watu. Tuwana vile tafieka watu. Sio majangili. <laughs> is this is Gashagwa ako hapa anasema mambo ya kupigana na watu yet we have bandit wanya wako kule why didn't he offer solution to that tumeona vile bandit wamekuwa kisumbua ike though for me kitule kindiki tried in one way or another but where was Gashagwa to deal with those people the same way he was dealing with the protesters so in the suburb, 
moja ya sababu ambazo zinafanya watu wanamuogopa Gashagwa sijui who is advising Gashagwa does even normally take the advice before you go to an interview the questions will be asked in fact for them maswali wao yanatuma mapema so they prepare what kind of preparation did they have when advisors will will advise vp is this what they advise him to say yani hii ndio moyo alikuwa anatuambia nguruwe ujikanga kwa mafuta yake Kashagwa ni mfano huo mwenyewe amejikanga and that is the information i see most bloggers who are in defense of william ruto and support of kashagwa's impeachment are now sharing i don't know your views but let us be in the comment section to continue with this discussion thank you so much and see you in our next video